Hello and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. My name is Tina and I'm here today to talk to you about Spanish. Say for example, you want to teach your children Spanish, but your ideal curriculum will be Rosetta Stone, but it doesn't fit your pocket, which that's my case. I wish I could get Rosetta Stone, but I'm like, whew, can't afford it right now. So what am I going to do? I want to teach my children Spanish. So I want to show you a cheap way that I'm doing it. Now, I only spent maybe 10 or 15 bucks for everything. Um, I bought it used once again, and I bought it from eBay. I bought it from eBay, and I bought the books because I bought two sets of books, but I bought it from two different sellers on eBay. So I bought that, and I'm also using JW Language. And it's a free app. You can get it on Android or Apple, your Apple store, um, on the Apple phone. You just, you, it's JW language and you can pick which language you want to use. And so I, since we're trying to learn Spanish, I pick Spanish. And along with that, I have a workbook, a cheap workbook costs maybe six bucks from Amazon for each child and I also made like a poster with different Spanish words and different body parts and different stuff like that to go along with this but this is the curriculum that I bought and I really like it and I didn't think I would and it called and it's called speak in a week the complete four week set so of course I'm gonna take longer than four weeks and me and the kids, we was actually doing this together, and they actually start speaking Spanish in one week. You know, just like the basic commands and stuff like that. So basically what it is, you have, uh-oh, you have CDs that you put into your CD player, or you can put in your DVD player if it plays CDs. And you have week one, and this is everything that is in week one. It has four weeks. That you concentrate on and it looks like this when you open it you put the CD in and here's the flip book it shows you exactly what you're gonna be going over what lessons and it's broken down so you can see it a little bit and then what I like about it because it's visual as well as listening to an audio and it has the English and the Spanish on the same page. It just has basic greetings and it tell, and then you have lesson one basic greetings and you say those basic greetings. And then when you're listening, going along with the CD, it has the picture and it has what you're saying as well. And it, and it helps and it has the pronunciation, how the word sounds versus how it looks so I like that as well and you can just follow along with the CD and it goes by picture by picture that's what I like about it because my kids actually I had them having a whole conversation with each each other in Spanish because they was able to hold the book listen to how they said it on the CD and was able to implement what they heard now, again, now this set, it's a four-week set, and it comes with a book and the CD. But I have two children. So, I went out and purchased another. I went out and found eBay on eBay, and I looked for these books just by themselves from different sellers. And I was able to find a seller that was just selling the books and not the complete curriculum. So I bought this this set of books so that my son and daughter can both work at the the same time and they both have their own book. I wish I would have bought one for myself too, but um, these maybe they're still on eBay because I um, I haven't checked lately, but I'm pretty sure they are from private sellers on eBay. But I really like this how it is, and see how it's colorful. Now this is week four, the last week, and how the script that they are with how they do stuff and it's very simple it's not all drawn out and like I said I'm using this along with JW language I'm using some flashcards and I'm also using Spanish workbook all of this was under six bucks and 
I am also, one unique thing that I'm doing is because I'm trying to teach my children Spanish on like a very small budget because we're one income family. What I'm doing also is on their favorite TV shows, like if they're watching Netflix or something like that, I try to switch it over. I go into the subtitles, and if they allow me to change it to Spanish, I'll change it to Spanish. So when we're doing Spanish, we're totally immersed in Spanish. And when we're doing our work and when we have our downtime when we're doing Spanish, I will let them listen to Spanish music so that we're totally immersed and so they'll start picking up some of the words and stuff like that. That's another thing that I do. And if I can't find what I'm looking for in an English movie with the Spanish subtitles, I go to a Spanish movie and I have the English subtitles on the bottom of the TV show or whatever. And then believe it or not, the kids and I are doing really, really well with doing that because you're not only hearing it, you're seeing it and you're able to read to the bottom what they're saying. So you're being able to di differentiate what the words sound like in both languages and most of the time in Spanish a lot of the words sound so a lot of the English words sound so similar to the Spanish words so when you speak in Spanish you you will hear a lot of similarities so that's what I do and that's how I'm teaching my children Spanish and myself on a very tight budget so again if you want to get this you have to get it from eBay. That's where I purchased mine. Now, I have seen these for sale on Amazon, but they're expensive. They're more pricey. Now, like I said, for this, I think I spent $6 for these four books. And then for this complete curriculum with the CDs and the books, I spent like 10 bucks. I didn't buy it all at the same time. I bought it different little pieces because I bought this first and then i realized how much i liked it and then i looked around for some more books so if you're looking for a cheap but effective way to teach your children spanish i feel like this probably will work for you and it'll work for all ages so you won't have to worry about like a grade level so to speak because if you have a 10th grader that's just learning spanish and a fifth grade and a fifth grader or a second grader just learning spanish guess what you're all on the same grade level, despite this one in seventh grade, this one in 10th, this one in fourth. It doesn't matter. If you're learning a different language, everybody is on the same grade level. So this is one of those things that regardless of grade level, regardless of age, you can teach everyone the same exact thing because at that point, everybody is on the same level. So it'd be super duper easy for everybody to start out doing this together and continue and then branch off once they start advance, advancing to another age. And then, um, but I really, really like it. So I want to share that with you all. I meant to be and share it with you because I bought it last year, but I forgot. And I'm pulling it out this year because I'm really like working adamantly on Spanish this year. I started last year and then we did it for like a semester, semester and a half and we stopped. But this year we're going to do a full year of Spanish. So again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy, trying to show you cheap and expensive ways to teach those elective subjects such as Spanish. You can do it. Use the resources that you have. Use the things that you have and buy used when necessary. It's nothing wrong with buying used. Just make sure that when you buy used, this is my little tip. Make sure it says good or very good or like new. Please stay away from used stuff that says acceptable. Because if it's acceptable, that means it's, mm, it might not look good. It may have a little indentations. It might have scratches. It will still work, but it'll probably just be beat up looking. So usually I buy things that only is in good to very good to like new condition when I buy used. And so far, and I buy quite regularly used stuff all the time. That's most of all my stuff is used, except for a couple things that is brand new or that was gift to me or that I bought on a very good sale. So again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. I hope this helped you. Have a good day. Bye.